Hi, Johnny from johnnygood.com here um, with a quick overview and sharing my experiences with Roland's Duo Capture EX 24-bit audio interface, which I've been using for just under a year uh, and I'm only selling on uh, because I've got a bunch of projects where I need more than two ins coming up this year. Um, so a quick overview for you, it's, um, it's got these two combi ins, which accept either XLR or quarter inch uh, jack and you've got independent gain controls for either of those two. You've got a volume knob for your output and a quarter inch phones in on the front. On the back, you've got a power in, um, MIDI ins and outs, two TRS outs to get off to your speakers. Um, a USB, you can choose between 44.1 and 48 hertz for recording. Um, you've got phantom power on and off. Um, you can alter the send to your uh, monitors to be either off, mono or in stereo high and low um, for your um, instrument recordings and um, a power button on and off. Um, so all pretty standard stuff. Um, my experiences were um, it's been incredibly stable um, and it's worked really really well with Sonar, Sonar 8 which is what I'm, I'm running. Um, I also noticed that the sound card that I had previously was um, Eddie Rolls UA20, so it was quite a leap. That was quite an old sound card, and I certainly noticed a an improvement in the quality of the converters um, in this box. Uh, the sound was um, just more musical, just more pleasing. Um, I don't want to use the word warmer, but um, it, it kind of sounded, yeah, I think just musical, rounder somehow. Um, so a really nice uh, quality interface. Um, couple of small gripes I after a while would have liked to have had independent control for the volume for the headphones and the monitors that would have been kind of handy rather than just one um, I kind of got around that with using a headphone amp separate headphone amp but um, and um, it doesn't come with um, its own power supply uh, which I had to buy I bought separately um, and I bought it separately um, to eliminate the odd occasion when I, I, I was getting a little bit of noise coming from the power being drawn through the USB cable um, and using the, the separate power source eliminated that problem. So I'd probably recommend buying one of those. Um, also worth noting, um, I never used, but it, I guess it's, it's USP really, is that it also takes um, AA batteries so if you were running this, say with a laptop, and you were doing wanted to do some recording in a field, or you, you were wanted to do some video recording or something, um, that's really really useful, um, and that stands it apart from a bunch of um, other two input um, interfaces on the market. So overall, absolutely really love this uh, interface. As I say, I wouldn't have even thought of selling it had I not needed more inputs. Um, so um, I would recommend Roland's Duo Capture EX. Obviously, there's a bunch of different ones on the market from Focusrite, from Personas. So um, they're all kind of much of a muchness. But um, um, my experience was good with this one. I hope if you're looking at shopping for an interface at the moment that that helped you. Uh, so please subscribe to my channel. Check out johnnygood.com. Have yourselves a great day.